Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday the 26th. I just got off of work and I figured it's probably time to get my seedlings in some kind of soil and out of the seed trays because they're running out of nutrients and my window is about to be shut. So I'm going to get those guys in the, um, in the bed they're going to go in. But first, let's let the chickens out so they can free range a little bit. Look at this. Nice, nice little head of broccoli forming here in this experimental box. <laughs> hey guys. Good afternoon. You gonna come outside for a little while? Right, I'm gonna go to the garden. Look at her poor head. She, she submits. Um, I guess just as a defense mechanism. So like, first thing in the morning when I go into the coop, she hops down and instantly squats because she knows the roosters are coming after her. And we've got a young rooster buddies, a lot younger than Belvedere, and I don't think he quite understands how to be gentle. So our poor head is, all the feathers are gone. So here's the bed I'm going to be cleaning out and using. See, this was my pepper bed. And hopefully we'll get lots of volunteers from all these peppers that were left on here to ripen. But I need to find my clippers. Clip all these off to the root. And then I'm going to get some compost. And I've got my bag of soil here. I was hoping to be able to do some in-ground gardening. We cleared out the space again. And we brought the tiller out here to try to till up the space, and it did not work. There's so many really thick roots. There was like a grape vineyard here for, I don't know, 20 years, and there's lots of other vines that have kind of taken over, and you just cannot till through this stuff. We're going to need some heavy, heavy equipment. This is uh, where some of these vines come from, and it's just this mound of all these, what do you call them, tubers? I don't know, but they're massive, they're hard, and even though we have a really powerful tiller, it's just not powerful enough for this. And because all these roots are like viney roots, and there's a lot of old vines out here, it was just wrapping up on the tines, and it's just not gonna work. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're gonna do about this out here. If we'll ever be able to plant out here without getting some pretty heavy machinery out here. To it's like it's almost like virgin land because it just hasn't been cultivated in so long. Um, anyway, I gotta find some snips. I just started digging into this little compost area I've been doing over here. And it looks as if I have started a worm farm. There are lots and lots of fat worms in here. Be great for going fishing. Just come dig in here. Oh, look at that. Got some seeds starting here. Pull those out and maybe plant them. See if that works. Why not, right? Well, I can't find any of my snips. Either pair. Technically, I have three pair. can't find any of them. But here are the seedlings. So, this was my broccoli, which has gotten quite leggy and hasn't put any new leaves on in weeks. Um, spinach, chamomile. I thought, and I was so excited because I thought this was echinacea that looks like borage I don't even remember planting borage but I guess I did and then dill in the back and some cilantro that didn't come up I think this is echinacea so I only got one one sprout from that and I've got some peas that need some nutrition some peppers these will stay in here these are dandelion 
some more cilantro nasturtium and some more spinach back there all of that needs to go out into that box <clears throat> well <laughs> I don't know if I could put all of that in that box but we'll see and I have some garlic going in here look here so I just had some bulbs in the house that started sprouting so I just stuck them in here and they're doing their thing hopefully that means that we'll get some garlic this year it's not enough to get us through the year obviously but it'll be something it's hot in this greenhouse today it's been warm today after weeks of cold found some snips got one of my trays All right, get all those taken out. Now I'm gonna put this compost down and then I'll put the soil on top. All right, I think that looks nice. Fresh canvas. Okay, so you gotta hear somebody yelling at my chickens for being in the wrong area of the yard. So we got a little bit of everything in here, nasturtium, chamomile, dill, spinach, um, cauliflower, peas in the back. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna somehow attach a string or something for them to climb on back there. That's the plan. I need to go see what my chickens are getting into. Why my mother in law is yelling at them. It's been a, a, about a week since I planted out this raised bed with all my seedlings, and I figured I'd give you guys an update because there were some surprises in here. Coming along, look, look at my chamomile getting big. Lovely. So, dandelion. A lot of this is just a uh, cauliflower got spinach which is looking so nice a lot fuller than I've ever got it before sweet peas so the unexpected is <laughs> this so next to several of my seedlings these squash I'm guessing maybe pumpkin maybe cucumber seedlings have popped up <laughs> these were not planted and I'm not sure why they decided now is a good time to pop up. Definitely did not put any squash seeds or cu uh, cucumber seeds or pumpkin seeds in this bed when I was putting my seedlings in here. Um, so I'm not sure exactly where they came from. I'm not complaining about them. I mean, it's cool. I love to see things, you know, volunteers. The only problem is if it is a squash or pumpkin type plant, 
they're going to take up this whole bed and everything else that got planted in here is not going to have the room and maybe even the nutrients to grow. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this little problem, but for right now, I'm just enjoying seeing the growth and it's all an experiment anyway for me. So we'll just see what happens. So out here in my greenhouse, everything is struggling. So I thought you get a greenhouse and you put your plants in there and they are going to do beautifully. It's going to be the most perfect plants. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and I recently watched a video from one of my favorite YouTubers uh, and she was talking about having a greenhouse and how it's not, um, there's a learning curve. You definitely have to take care that your greenhouse is not getting too hot or too cold or too wet or too dry. And I didn't realize all this stuff. So I'm struggling a bit to keep things alive and looking nice, but it's my first year. So hopefully it just gets better from here. Hey guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you stick around. If you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I post a new video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.